GUP here. I wanted to do a quick video over um, some things that you can do to, uh, you know, get yourself prepared for emergencies. Uh, I've got a match fire lighting kit here that I put together real quickly. Use some duct tape, and you can see how I just cut the match box there, and I just taped it to the back. I've got it double taped underneath the bottom there. Got my matches inside. You can see how they easily come out. No biggie. Ready to go in case you need to light a fire. I've got a old deodorant container here. Uh, what I like to do is I like to take my dryer lint and I like to stick it in containers like this. I just reverse it after it's empty. Use my finger to push this down. If you wanted to, you could take some petroleum jelly and rub that all through your actual tender and then push it down. That way you're definitely gonna be able to get a nice uh, flame. But this works just fine, I promise you. Just take it like this. Self-contained couple rubber bands you're good to go put that in your bug out bag you're ready to rock okay right here this is something right here a jewelry box ring box I have a little light there a twist on the bottom okay I like to keep it in the box here this will light up your campsite light up your little room if you're a uh, trying to bug in if you need to uh, get the lights out very quickly instead of taking out the box just lights out okay so if you need to uh, use this as a way to uh, lure someone into your kill zone if you're trying to defend your area you know put this in your kill zone and uh, you're ready to rock okay also here, I've got uh, some uh, felt containers that you can repurpose. You can put some uh, currency in there. You can put some uh, silver in there. Uh, just uh, different little things. Also, you could take uh, something like this and put your silver in it. Put some currency in it. You could also duct tape this all together if you didn't need to get in it quite often and it would help make it more waterproof okay um, one of my favorite containers I learned this from my grandmother is you take an old sock who hasn't lost one of their socks just roll it down here and I'll take some coins take some of my silver go ahead, twist it okay I'm going to tie a knot and I'm going to tie a knot in it and um, it's a good way of keeping your silver all together your coinage all together that way it's not rattling around in your bug out bag also it's a good way that if you need it to in self-defense purposes you've got yourself a billy club okay promise you that's over 10 ounces right there of uh, silver and coinage and had to get somebody's attention if you had to. Uh, this right here, this is a uh, little bitty clock, as you can tell. I like it because it's small, self-contained. Made in Hong Kong. You can see right there, it's winding. So, uh, electronic pulse will not affect this because it's winding up. If I need it to, I could use this for trading purposes. I promise you, uh, in a uh, crap hitting the fan type scenario, things like this will be considered a luxury. And uh, I could barter or trade very easily with something like this. Right here, I've got a radio. Everyone should have a radio because you. Never know if there's an emergency situation, tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever the case may be. You need to be able to uh, listen in for communication purposes. 
It's got AM shortwave. It's got FM. It's got the old TV bands on it. And also, it's got a little bitty flashlight that you can use. If you uh, had some headsets, you could also use it. That way you wouldn't have to uh, worry about your position being compromised if you use your headsets. Okay? And in the back there, it also, you can crank it to power it up. You don't have to have uh, batteries. I highly recommend that you don't store your batteries in your radio for very long without use and checking it because you can get that corrosion. With this, I like it because you can crank it. And uh, I found this at a garage sale today. The lady and her husband, they said, we can't get it to work. We've tried everything. We cannot get it to work. We put new batteries in it. We can't get it to work. And I said, well, I kind of like it, but if it doesn't work, then I don't think I can do anything with it. And the lady, she says, well, you know what? Why don't you just take this for free? Maybe you can get it to work. So I brought it home. I just kind of fiddled with the knobs a little bit. And... Uh, You know, what more can you say about that? You know, absolutely free radio, you know, go to garage sales, folks. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get prepared, to prep, to take care of your family. I like to go to the military stores like everyone else, but come on, 50 cents free. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. The guy wanted one dollar, and I said, I'd like to haggle with you a little bit if you don't mind. He says, well, how about 50 cents? I said, sold. That's a fair price. I would have been happy with a dollar, but if you ask, most of the time, they'll come down off their price. 50 cents. You can't beat that. Go on eBay and see what this clock runs, okay? Go on eBay. I'm going to give you a good shot of it. Go on eBay. Look for yourself to see what this little clock runs. A lot of people collect clocks like this, okay? Go and see what this clock will run you on eBay. I got it for 50 cents. It works perfect. Go to garage sales. It's no reason that a person shouldn't go to garage sales. A lot of times you're picking up other people's stuff that they don't want it. It's just junk to them. This guy was just thrilled to death that I was even interested in it. I'm sure hundreds of people had walked right by it because it's not digital. It's not fancy. It's not an iPhone. You know, that's how people think now. Hey, it works. It's going to serve perfectly for what I want to use it for. And it was 50 cents. Okay? So start thinking out of the box. A lot of things you can... Do it yourself. You can get prepared on a budget. I don't have a lot of money. You know, someday I hope that I do have a lot of money. I really want to have a lot of silver, to be honest with you. I'm one of those silver bugs. I'm, I'm absolutely hooked. Stack some silver, folks. Stack some gold, folks. But I'm definitely hooked on silver. But you want to be able to take care of your family all this will easily fit into my bug out bag this right here i probably will put into my emergency kit i have an ammo can can that i keep uh my, my radio my band-aids different things like that it's on top it's uh i'm excuse me i keep my uh, bug out bag on top of the ammo kit so everything's ready to go in an emergency situation, the last thing you want to do is want to be searching for, where's my gun? Where's my currency? Uh, where's my uh, passport? Etc. You want to be ready to rock. Okay? So, get prepared. It's no excuses. It's no reason for you not to go out there and, you know, search these garage sales for treasures like that. Okay? Alright. This is GUP. You know, you guys, please subscribe leave some comments um, if you got any ideas about different things I can do to help improve my prepping you know please let me know because uh, I want I want to be prepared I want to be able to take care of my family okay so 
But you guys, go to garage sales. Go, go, go. You can't beat it.